Hi, welcome back. I hope you've been having a lovely week. Let's build this to make it even better. This is the Lego Friends Heart Lake City Music Talent Show. This is what I'm so excited to build. Not only does it have Andrea all growing up as the talent show judge, a pop star in her own right, we've got Layla the mystery pop star. If you've been following along, you know who she is. And there are two brand new characters. Are they brand new characters? I mean, we'll have a look at them in a moment. So we've got two brand new characters, plus we've got this cool stage to build. So there are 660 pieces in here. It's $100 in Australia, $65 in the US. And yes, it's available in your retail store. So go out, see if you can get it for a little bit less than RP. Oh, look at the shiny psychedelic stickers. Okay, so we've got Layla here. Why do we not have instructions on how to build on I mean, it's not rocket science, but <laughs> there normally are instructions on how to put the mini dolls together. Oh, well, obviously they just assumed we'd be fine at this. So let's have a look. We've got Layla in a brand new outfit. So she is in her pop star outfits in two different Different sets, two different pop star outfits. That's, so this one's got black boots with, with, oh my gosh, gold everywhere. Like, it's almost like a gold armor. She's got her uh, her platforms, which is a new accessory for this year. I love them so much. <laughs> they, they just, they add this really amazing amount of height to the mini dolls. Just makes them look majestic. Speaking of majestic, this top is so, what, like, dramatic. It's so striking. The black and the gold are amazing. It almost looks superhero-esque, like a kind of a, a, a yeah, a really closely fitted armor. The gold in the printing is so incredibly detailed and you've got actually different shades of the gold so that it adds depth to it and adds like kind of a, a matte glimmer to it, if that makes sense. Her, uh, she's got this like a uh, shoulder piece thing, which we saw in the bus, which was in black there. In this case, it's gold. I love it so much because it adds so much dimension to the character. It just makes her look, it, she really looks like she belongs in Eurovision. It is a Eurovision outfit. Her face print is also unique to this set she's got gold lipstick on a little bit more of a smirk than she had in the uh in her other outfit that we saw in the pop star bus I don't know that I love this face print as much as the other one, but you know, I'm just excited to have a different face print, a new face print. Speaking of new prints, the guitar, this lightning strike, I think we've had the lightning bolt before as the guitar shape. I'm not 100% sure, but the print is brand new and it, it matches her whole outfit, the whole, she's like entirely coordinated. She is all black and gold, except for her hair, which is vibrant coral. <laughs> I just love it so much. It is just such a, is such a vibe. She looks spectacular. All right, so she's definitely going to be memorable. That is perfect. We've also got Andrea all growing up. Oh, this is, this is the second set that she's come in growing up. This is obviously a more affordable way to get her. It's a completely different outfit. She's got on silver and like lime green lace up boots. Love them so much. I don't love the fact that that silver printing hasn't gone very well around the sides. Got a silver skirt on and her top is so detailed. Look at that. It's green and silver mesh, like metallic-y silver mesh over the top. Let's have a look at the printing around. Oh, look at that. The printing is exceptional around the sides and around to the back. I'm unsure whether what she has around her, her neck is a, a nice heavy silver necklace or whether it's the neck piece that it is attached to her top. I think it might be a neck piece. Whatever it is, it looks amazing. She's got the same face print that we see in the mansion, which is which is sensible because we're not going to get too many versions of the adult Andrea, I think. And the same hair, the hair piece as well, which I love so much. Look at her in lime green and silver. She looks amazing. Oh, I'm just going to check if, yeah, we still got the creepy ear feet. One of you guys said to me might be the difference between the thin hinge and the thick hinge. So Layla's got a thick hinge and she doesn't have creepy ear feet, but she's also not wearing a skirt. So I don't know whether putting these two side by side having come out of the same factory because they're in the same box I assume will be will be very probably not in the best scientific experiment here I'd need a few more test subjects than this but anyway all right so we've also got we've got two to male characters so we've got these pants which we've seen before but we have got this brand new top I love it so much neon stripes like wibbly stripes around black yeah it's a black it's a black t-shirt with neon stripes horizontally around it absolutely fantastic skin tone on this character is actually medium tan face print it oh, look I mean I mean <laughs> I'm trying not to say what I'm going to say, but this guy's name, according to the box, is Alexander. Doesn't he 
look a lot like Ollie to you. Like he's got the same skin tone. He's got the same hair color. He's got glasses. Even his mouth looks the same. Anyway, we'll compare them in a moment. Second character in here is Nabil. Um, I've seen these pants before on Leo. Oh, I've seen this top colors. Not like this is a brand new top print. <laughs> Love it too. It's, it's, a, it's a sleeveless hoodie kind of singlety top. But once again, something that Leo would wear, right? Same skin tone. <laughs> so medium nougat skin tone. Face print, love this face print. There's little sweat droplets on his on his forehead because he is, yeah, he's a drummer. He's working hard. He's working up his sweat, beaten to his jams. He's got hair piece that is, I don't know, is it? No, I suppose Leo's hair is a different color, but I just love the fact that they've got kind of floofy, longish rock band kind of hair. <laughs> but let's, let's just compare them to Ollie and Leo, right? So Ollie, same skin tone, Face is, uh, okay, so eyebrows are a different color. The mouth shape is the same, but the, the mouth, the lips are a little bit of a different shade. But the glasses are the same. Oh no, do you think? Is it possible? Is this just like a tinfoil hat conspiracy theory? <laughs> but maybe, maybe these are actually Leo and Ollie. Let's check out Nabil. Let's see. Let's see whether he could be Leo. Let's see. They're wearing the same pants. They're wearing the same color scheme. Their skin tone is the same. Uh, eyebrows. So Nabil's eyebrows are a little bit more groomed. Their, uh, their hairs, I mean, you can dye your hair. You could be wearing a wig. It could be, oh no, hold on. Their eye shade is different. The no, I could be wearing contact lenses. Anyway, let me know if you think I've just lost the plot. I regularly lose the plot, but maybe they are. Maybe they are. Okay, let's get on with building and I'm just going to just chill. Take a little bit of a moment because I don't think we need more conspiracy theories in this world. <laughs> especially ones based around the Lego Friends characters. Okay, so we are building a little round black circly bit thing with stuff on it. <laughs> that helpful? <laughs> I'm so, I'm super helpful. This is a really nice little chair and the chair is actually in Andrea colors. It's a goldy orange and turquoise. Nice. This is her judge's chair. So she's got a very nice chair. I feel as though the chair should kind of spin. So yeah, but that's fine. It doesn't need to. It's a really nice looking chair. This is the judge's tabley thing with the wappy buttons. So I don't know why there are three because I don't watch enough talent shows, obviously, <laughs> reality TV shows. But but I assume that they are for a different, like maybe yes, no, or, oh, this is really awesome. She's got her own logo, her like judge logo with the headphones and an A metallic. Oh, that's so good on the back of the chair. And she's got a drink bottle. Uh, I'm prominently positioned on her desk. I'm surprised that it's not branded. Like this is normally where they drop <laughs> product placement. Okay. All right. So look at this. We've got, we, we can be having a chat with the judge after she's performed. Oh, in the instructions, it actually shows that you can hold the guitar backwards in the mini doll's hands. If I can just get it around behind her hair. And it kind of then looks as though she's slung it over her back. Like, yeah. And out of the way, that looks really cool. I would never have thought to do that. Oh, okay. All right. So we're starting on the stage now. Let's just move all of our competitors and the judges out of the way so that they're kept safe. How good do they look? I just love the vibrancies of all these outfits. They're just, they're, they're unlike other stuff that we get in mini dolls. It's really exciting. Okay. Stage time. We have got some vibrant coral base and some blue, big, nice black, black base plate thing. And under, <laughs> under here, we've got some spinny, like those little round things mean we're going to have some spinny things. Got some gold nuggets, like gold ingots hiding down here in the Hiding down here on the plate. These are gonna give us some little angles, these A-frame pieces for attached side stuff. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so yeah, so we've got these little octopusy spinny kind of things, and when we interlock them, that means that the one at the front, the black one there, will spin, and we've got one that's just sticking out the side, which we'll be able to access. So they're all gonna be hidden under this stage part. All of that cool tiling that we just did with the ingots, the gold ingots are all hidden underneath the stage. We got we got stairs, white stairs going up to the stage. Just love spinning these things when we've got a moving element. This looks so good already. Oh my gosh. Okay. And the yeah, top of the steps. 
lots of this blue, this, this, you know, this shade of blue, I normally take this blue and put it in its own when I'm sorting in its own little compartment, like in Coventry. I hate, <laughs> I hate using it. It's not a color that I reach for. And yet when you couple it with these colors that we have here, it looks amazing. So maybe I should reconsider some of my prejudices against the specific shades of color. Can't even speak. I can't even get this on either. This is supposed to be, oh, okay. All right. I haven't put the little round white bits or sorry, the little curved white bits back correctly. Now that yeah, fits nicely like it was designed to be like that. Who knew? The instructions knew. This is cool. This opalescent, shiny blue, uh, like, I don't know what do you call it. It makes it a little alcove, like a little, oh, it's like, it's the stage reveal. So it spins around and this is how she arrives on stage. Oh, that's spectacular. The colors are so fantastic. I love the shimmer on it for stage effects. This at the front is a fixed mic stand, but you can actually pop it off nice and easily off the little white jumper stud round thing at the front. Nice, you could pop it wherever you kind of want, but the front of the stage would be the most sensible place to be, right? This is what we've got at the end of this bag. Very nice. Let's go. Let's go. Next bag. Oh, look at all the delicious colors in this. We've got some lemon. No, lemon. No. Neon yellow. I always think of it as green and like it's a lemony green and I'm talking about this and we don't, we haven't even started. There it is. There's that delicious color. Look how absolutely dramatic and contrast he is against the black. Got a toilet door. I love the sticker for the toilet door. More neon yellow on the side. <laughs> These colors are just wild. I just love that they are a really, really bright, uh, but very, very bold. Really nice. This is a, oh, so we've got a little, a little bin, I think, with a clear top next to the toilet. It's a nice clean design looking toilet with white tiled floor. This is, this is the toilet roll that is just adorable. It's such a really modern, clean, yeah, it's a clean design looking toilet. I love it. I love the little toilet cubicle. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, got some outward facing studs here with someone going to be sticking something on the wall outside. Something else to, oh, does this go in the toilet? There's no room for anything else. So it is a drinks fridge. So obviously it's not going in the toilet because that would be gross. This is a sink, which uh, you probably noted there wasn't one in the bathroom. So you'll have to come out and wash your hands. Nice big mirror. Oh, this is Oh, you rock. XOXO. Nice little bit of encouraging graffiti on the bottom. <laughs> so this is going to be kind of a little dressing room area, I think. Yeah, okay, on the back of where the toilet is. So that clips on here, so it's very nicely angled so that it just adds some really nice dimension to the whole thing. Behind the toilet is a purple stand with a plant on it. That's really cool. I love a random plant and that plant is random. It has been popped behind the toilet in what otherwise would have been an empty space. This is nice to a big psychedelic side panel. We've got like, like it's like a magic eye trick. If you look at it too closely, you'll get sucked in. <laughs> oh my gosh. So from backstage, she can get up here into the little, into the little alcove and turn around for the big reveal. Oh, it's the little things that just make all the difference, don't they? Including this framing. I love the, the neon yellow, I was gonna say lemon, neon yellow frame. It's really, really bold, really contrasty, very strong contrast in here. Oh my gosh, I love the toilet. I love the toilet with the plant behind it. We'll have a really good look at that at the end. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, next bag. Bag number three. We've got some blue wall happening for this other side. Forward, forward facing studs there too to attach something which is going to add some framework around the stage area. Some more neon yellow. Look, I'm getting better at saying it. Purple door backstage. Love these stickers. I love the mirrored effect, but also just how clean the images are. You can use them on anything. More neon yellow to go around the door frame like we had on the other side. So this is on the mirror image side of the toilet. We've got a little table, nice colors, little table with a cup and a brown stick. And then we put this like jug, like it's a, it doesn't come off though. So we've got a brown stick in a jug. Oh, it's to make like it brown on the inside because it's a coffee dripolator. <laughs> Christ, the worst sort of coffee. And a croissant, mm, nothing like backstage treats, but it's nice to have snacks. So this goes over here on this side. Very nice. And then we build up our wall like we did on the other side. No hidden plant behind there because we're actually going to be able to access that area from the other side, from the back. Whereas you can't access the, like, yeah, you can't access the toilet because it's all closed in except for the door section. Oh, I love this backstage area. It's little, but it's detailed. We've got another 
No, okay, I was going to say it's another little mirror, but it's not. It's actually a TV panel or a monitor so that you can see what's happening on stage. This is so you can take note of when it's your time, your turn to go on stage. Oh, or just to relax. Or I mean, if you're watching the other competitors on stage and you're waiting to go on, are you ever going to be relaxed? I don't think so. But if, if you want to have a try, here's a nice purple couch. Nice and simple. Very nice. It goes nicely with the colour scheme too with our, with the orange on the bottom, the little coral flowers. Ah, so vibrant. Let's move these guys out of the way. This is a, this is a really nice backstage area. Yeah, I love, I'm really liking this. I love how much stuff has popped in here. This is a side table with a cup and a an obligatory mobile phone. Look at all that stuff. Look at it. It's so good. Look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> Did you look at it? Good. So then we can move on to the next bag. We're working over the top of the stage, adding the actual shape to it. So it's all nice and roundy, but we're heading up to a, not a point, a roundy point at the top. That sounds like an oxymoron, a round point. These are cool. These are very nice design, nice and simplistic with some, with, with those little rounded bowly kind of things. They're our spotlights for the stage. And I love the use of the opalescent studs too. Like makes it look like they're little shimmering lights, shining lights. These are some speakers. I mean, speakers always have the same design in Lego. So as soon as you start building them, you know what they are going to be. But these go up on either side, tip them upside down. Very nice. They look really good there. They don't look out of place. Like they generally, uh, speakers tend to kind of break the line. These fit in really nicely into the build. On the top, we've got some pink lights and some blue uppy things for some pink star sprays like they're like sprays of light like you know when you look at something and all you can see is the sparkle and the bokeh that's what we're seeing here including these pink sprays too there's they're light sprays actually made into a physical form in lego i love this so these plug in over here and you can angle them so that they are like the big uh what do you call those things in i mean they're lights eh, i'm waving my arms around <laughs> you can't see me i'm so nuts in uh, spotlights, like big spotlights, <laughs> coloured spotlights. Anyway, while I was busy getting distracted by my spotlight waving ups, we put in some vibrant coral upright beamy things for some more speakery things and so that we can put some really cool detailing on the top. So what cool detailing are we putting on the top? Well, let's build it. We'll find out. Got this little lumpy bit, nice smooth lumpy bit. Um, once again, a bit, of an, a bit of an oxymoron, a smooth lumpy bit. And some more massive speakers, this time in vibrant coral with grey and silver on the insides. So they look like giant eyeballs. Or do they look like giant eyeballs? Or do they look like, like little buns on the top of somebody's head in coral? Because <laughs> this, these things, which is so cool, are actually... Sunglasses. They're actually Layla's disguise glasses. I love this so much. I love how the whole stage design is a, <laughs> is a themed around Layla herself, who I assume is a competitor on this stage. So that's kind of cool. I mean, weird, but cool. These are the glare, like the uh, yeah, the reflection for all the for 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 the glasses, and they're the little handly bits around the sides, the arms of the glasses. I have no no describing words. And these clip on up here. Look at that! Look at those gold glasses. We've got the vibrant coral space buns. Let's get Layla in so we can just compare. Look, it's a hundred percent her. I love this. It's so cool. Okay, bag number five. What else do we have to build? Okay, so this is <laughs> this is the bag that Alexander came in. Uh, he doesn't get an accessory, but he is actually in charge. Like he's part of the band here, so he's keyboard player. So this is going to be his little side stage which is, yeah, his, his whole area for, for performing. So this has got a whole heap of hidden tiling going on underneath the stage as well in a different colour to the middle, which is really something you wouldn't know unless you built it. You wouldn't even know all of this stuff was hidden underneath the stage. Okay, so we've got our turny bits again and the access to it out the side. This time, though, it is facing... Oh, sorry, the turny bit's near the front. So... Uh, yeah, this is really fun. We've got the blue lights around here, whereas Layla's part of the stage has got has got pink lights. Oh, are these the same colours as these are the same colours as are on Andrea's desk? So, oh gosh, are they all being judged individually, or are they being judged as a band? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I'm just assuming they're a Eurovision band, so they're all together. Okay, here is his keyboard. It's got all the things that he needs, and he can like wibble around on the little tiny bit. These are 
blue um, uppy things. <laughs> they're they're in variable heights, so it makes a nice, interesting. Yeah, it's just a backdrop for him. Just makes it nice and stagey, nice and geometric. And these are some more color sprays, some light sprays on the sides to match what we have at the top. And this just clips in here into the little gold bar that we included before. So that's gonna be nice and easy to pop off if you want to. But it's currently nice and securely in place too. Oh my gosh, bag number six. I'm gonna assume it's the other side. Yeah. So this is the one that Nabil comes in. He is the drummer so he gets some drumsticks aka wands but you know what you have to you you have to utilize all of these different things in different ways they are now they're now drumsticks they make perfect drumsticks so he has hold on why are we if he's a drummer why are we building a camera maybe he's the cameraman who likes to <laughs> hit the camera with drumsticks that makes absolutely no sense i love that we have this vhs print on here on this side of the camera it's it's a fancy camera i love it big big yeah, movie tv camera big expensive thing so that's out here currently currently videoing the nabil to stand there waiting for his part of the stage to be built so this side also different color tiling in here i think the reddish brown tiles in that like ingot shape yeah new in this color and yet they're hidden underneath the stage. <laughs> That's it, they're gone, gone. You can't even see them anymore. Yeah, so he's got the green lights on his stage, which is also another color that Andrea has as a whappy button up on her table. I'm so curious to know how, whether they're being judged individually. That just would seem bonkers though to me. Okay, so here is his drum kit. It's, we've got a nice big front bit. Why is the, I suppose this is the idea of the bass part, the bass drum only out the front. We're not going to bother with it at the back. We've got the the, the, the little drum, drum bits. <laughs> I know nothing about drums and hi-hats and cymbals. Yeah, there we go. So we got all the drum, <laughs> we got all the drum kit bits there. That's all I need to know is that it's a whole drum kit. And when you spin him to the side, he can access the microphone, right? Oh my gosh. And he has got green, a green backdrop all in varying heights. That's, that's nice. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. His microphone is facing out like he if he turns to face the microphone he's going to be facing away from the audience like off to the side but i suppose you can assume that the audience is all the way around yeah but if you want the judges vote you want to be making sure you're looking at them as much as possible eyeballing them directly in okay <laughs> i don't know whether they feel that is a little bit confronting okay so this is it this is the whole set it looks spectacular it is such a fabulous vibrancy of colors um, the actual uh, setup of it is really great too i love how layla's part of the stage is a little bit higher with the reveal part we've got the backstage area which is not a lot of space but beautifully detailed i love that you can bring them up the stairs into like nervously waiting ah oh, so good but i think my favorite part of the whole lot is actually the toilet look look how nice it looks with the green plant behind it oh it's so clean <laughs> Love me a clean toilet cubicle. Oh, that's so concerning. All right, bring in the judge. Bring in the video cameras, TV cameras. We are ready. We're ready. Hold on. Oh, that's over on this side. Okay. Ah, there we go. She's here. The crowd goes wild. Coming up to the front of the stage. Ready. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this set. If you have any idea what's going on, let me know because I don't. <laughs> I like it though. I like to make up my own story of what's happening too. Subscribe, click the little notification bell and check back in because there are more builds coming up all the time. You don't want to miss them. All right, I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.